Welcome guys to Grand Theft Auto 5 Mods and in today's episode we're taking a look at the Imperial Star Destroyer Blimp for Grand Theft Auto 5 that takes a swing from... I was going to say Starcraft but it's from Star Wars. Uh, I've never watched a single Star Wars movie although I have downloaded the entire saga from uh, episode 1 all the way up to 6 in anticipation for the 7th journey. I uh, can't wait to see what uh, the fuss has been all about about Star Wars. Uh, so I installed this mod in anticipation for me watching the entire saga or trilogy throughout the next couple of days or even hours. I might start watching this straight after this video starts rendering. Although let's get into the mod. This is the, the Imperial Star Destroyer. <clears throat> Very big ship indeed. Let's jump out. It is uh, a conversion from a blimp Let's go down and you can see straight away that pizza-shaped shade over there just demonstrating you how massive this structure is. As we jump out, it will start to descend as well. Very hard to negotiate and maneuver. So we're going to go a little bit lower so you guys can get a more of a visually stunning uh, sort of appearance to how big this guy is. It is simply massive. We're going to use the speed boost to boost our way over here. My biggest drawback for this mod is the three uh, main boosters and also the four sort of smaller boosters. Don't have any jet fuels or jet flames popping out. It will be amazing if it did and uh, that's pretty much it what this mod can improve on. Unfortunately, you can't change the colors of the, the blimp. If we go change it, you can only partially change the sort of tail ends. So if we go over here, uh, we've changed a tiny bit if you can see the red highlighting al along the sort of uh, exhausts but nothing majorly color sort of overhauls that you can see now the way you control this is exactly the same as you do for a blimp it is a lot chunkier to control and uh, we're currently nose diving right down because we want to go to a lower altitude so we can show off to you guys how big uh, this absolute ginormous vehicle is. It is currently the biggest vehicle you can have in Grand Theft Auto 5. Simply magnificent. Now I did have to remove the pinnacle of 5 uh, away from my Grand Theft Auto. It was simply was crashing too much. I had it installed for two weeks. I put it up. I had it had the mod for two weeks and uh, then had enough of it last night and got rid of it and uh, got a fresh start on Grand Theft Auto take a look how awesome it looks uh, let's go switch through the viewing cycles you can see that add this really nice cinematic camera so you can see how far away you are and the clouds just simply wreck uh, the the scene that's one thing that I loved about the pinnacle of 5 mod was that uh, you can see from coast to coast uh, you would had great field of view uh, or the field distance uh, that you'd see stuff but uh, with vanilla Grand Theft Auto, you can't really see anything uh, that much far because the clouds actually protrude your viewing distance. So, this pretty much covers the entire Imperial Star Destroyer from Star Wars. Uh, you can see that's if I cycle through again. Here is the cockpit of the blimp, uh, somewhat underneath uh, the main sort of... Um, sort of structure of the Star Destroyer. Let's jump out now, as you can see. Ooh, what is happening? Well, that's the first time I've heard that. A little bit of a crack. Let's turn on our Hancock mode so we can fly back up. And we had we heard some nasty sounds like it's uh, almost about to crack open. Uh, but let's continue on and try and fly through so you can, guys can see what is inside this bad boy. Because it is kind of interesting. It's just a blank space. Uh, it's sort of a, a the box of this sort of uh, what you'd expect to see uh, inside but uh, isn't really any hit damage going through and uh, you can just fly through it so uh, sort of no clipping throughout the structure. It is currently free falling, this is its free falling sort of stage, it spins around in circles and then it crashes down into the ground and uh, gives off a big bang with a lot of flames, uh, I'm just joking it doesn't, it normally just disappears, but uh, for the sake of this video we're going to see what happens. I don't have a vehicle invincibility on so hopefully it does explode. Uh, we're getting a nice sort of look through here and uh, here we go, here we go folks, it's crashing. Oh, what? We got like three or four, five, six. What? What is happening? All right, they just multiplied. That's pretty cool. All right, so we got three. Uh, we had zero ships, three ships. Now, all right, here we go. A couple ships more here. So, that was very interesting. 
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe before uh, the FBI gets on me for uh, finding extraterrestrial stuff. Uh, sort of like we're in Area 51. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 Mods. As I have thoroughly enjoyed showing you at least 60 episodes of Grand Theft Auto 5 Mods. This has been the Imperial Star Destroyer Blimp for Grand Theft Auto 5. Currently in beta version 1.0. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto action. Drop me a comment what game you want to see next or what mod you want to actually see next. And if you're a cheeky old fan from the Minecraft days, tell me what Minecraft mod you want me to review and I'll take a look into that. Thank you guys for watching and as always, have a nice day.